checking us out. Horton 229 Vacuum Infusion Part 2. Uh, the bottom side turned out great. I'll show it to you later. Top side is all prepped up. You got the vacuum pump running around 24 inches of vacuum. Maybe 25, somewhere around there. It's going to run continuously the whole time. Tom's mixing up resin. Got the bucket in the middle for uh, holding the resin cup. We got all our resin feed lines clamped off. And a whole lot of extra packing because of the shape of this thing. So we'll start feeding the center line here with this one once he gets the resin mixed up and see how this one works out. Um, try a little bit different layup with this one to try and eliminate some of the, the waste resin that's going into the resin trap. So we'll see if our new modification works or not. So, as soon as Tom's done, we'll get to work and there'll probably be time lapse again, just like the part one video. Just let it go take so that long to do it. So, we'll see.
the first one, the bottom half, part one, was definitely a big learning learning curve. Um, it wasn't all that bad. It infused extremely well. It actually turned out really nice. I'll show it to you here in a minute. A couple of things we did learn is um, you need more flow mesh along the whole center here. We placed it, placed it down along the edges, and then a, a portion here across the back. Something we learned on this one, we need to extend it a little further back on it. Um, we doubled up on the fill ply under all of these resin feed lines just to make life a little easier to get those off. And uh, we'll it away a little bit. And then we had enough excess mag in here where you can see there's the vacuum bag clamps around them to hold them away from the surface because they were they're pretty difficult to get off the to get off the part even with all the fuel ply and everything in place. Um, another thing we learned. Support the resin trap line. You can see it going from the vacuum line up to the air and then back down. Um, where's the other one at, Tom? The other resin line or the other? The other resin trap. <laughs> and what I mean by support it is, if you know Schedule 40 PVC pipe, it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> so I got a little hot. Uh, it's pretty much the entire thing's full of resin, as you can see, where it bubbled up from all the heat. And that's where the line was. It's full. Um, had a whole lot of excess epoxy on the part. We probably still have a lot of excess on this, but still fine-tuning it. We'll get it down there eventually. Actually, it's a work in progress. But, um... So I guess if y'all want to see the other side. Can we show it to them? Yeah. No, maybe not. <laughs> Alright. Here's the one we did yesterday. See, we got uh, some of our bulkhead templates already made up. Let's finish those. You can see you got a nice carbon fiber here with our nose gear mounting bulkheads. Carbon fiber back there. That one didn't quite let out completely. Um, it's not in an area where the bulkhead's gonna mount or anything, so we're not really too concerned. All of our sort let out extremely well. Our root ribs worked out well. I mean, the whole thing, we couldn't, we couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Trailing edge, all really nice. I mean, for resin infusion, I think we probably got the best beginner's luck ever <laughs> when it comes to this. So, uh, bottom is done. Top is infused. Templates. There's carry through spars. We got more templates over here for landing gear mounts. Outer wing panels are done and painted. I just got to do extensions and servo mounts. There's the other wing panel. I got that to paint for a guy. And uh, there's a plug. GB's coming up next because I got the salad bowl. I mean the cow. Wheel pants are back there. So the GB will be getting back on the, the bench as soon as we're done with these with these Hortons. So uh, Horton 229 Vacuum Infusion Part 2 is done. When we get ready to close these things up and pull them out of the mold, we'll make up another video and show you guys what's going on. Till then, y'all have a good week. See ya.